our current new build, which we call the Small Home Experience, is 450 square feet. It is eco-friendly. Um, we're building with Mikey Block, which these homes will be here for 100 plus years to come. Um, there are one bedrooms. Um, they'll have a kitchen, a dinette, as well as washer and dryer. There has been a Band-Aid on the underserved population, and many of them have been muted, or they used to be categorized as the forgotten children. I think a lot of people just didn't know how many children are in foster care, right, in Pima County, how many are experiencing homelessness, and what they are experiencing during this time. If you're aging out of foster care, there's so many victimizations that hover over our children. IME 360, through our movement, was all about educating and creating awareness. So there's a host of things that we have to kind of navigate through so that their outcomes are better. When I turned 18, um, my mom kind of like, she kicked me out and it was like really hard and I was trying, I was staying at like some of my other family members' houses and it was just like really like toxic, like the, the situations and the household. So I had talked to Desiree and we had like set up an interview and that's how I was able to get into the program to become a resident. There's not a lot of resources out there, especially because especially when you're in the foster system, they just, when you're, you turn 18, they just throw you out there and they expect you to do everything on your own. And even like, even with like people who have like a little bit more help, it's still hard. And so I think that this program is just such a blessing and it, it really does help like a lot of like foster kids like transition and become like functional adults. You have risen and I'm so honored. IMU 360 believes that they are not forgotten so that they can see themselves as valuable and also be optimistic for their future. And we want to include them in our community. They're deserving to be inclusive in a part of a community, um, not just to live, but to thrive. It makes me really happy because, um, like, I'll have, like, a nice place for me and my baby to stay. I'm looking forward to, um, like, honestly, kind of having a little bit more space. And like I can't, I can't wait. Uh, so that way she can like have like her own little room. We believe in building ten at a time, and what that does, it builds community within community. It builds camaraderie. This is just not like a program; it's a community of people, and you know, we all like to help each other out. We realize, you know, you could give someone a house, but helping them see that it's more than a house, it's a home. But then the life skill pieces have been missing. It's not taught in schools. And it's also a lot of the kids we're talking about do not have a support system to teach them the life skills necessary for financial sustainability. She's teaching us about like our credit, being able to have that like financial stability. I plan to like save money so that way I can like move into like an actual home and be like more financially stable. So they would pay a dollar a square foot. Because we now own that land, we would save half their rent, put that in escrow for the next three years. So at the end of our three-year program, um, and them learning also how to save on their own, they'll have enough to purchase their first starter home. So it is such a unique housing program, again, to get to those root causes. For us, that is how we stamp out homelessness, but then also have a solution, get to the root causes of homelessness so that we could really create that generational change and break those generational cycles.